Yo, this is Eternal Place. The Legend of Zelda. The Minish Cap. And this is the season finale. So let's go. So last time we fought Vati, we beat both his forms. And we saved Princess Zelda from petrification with the Force Sword. However, the castle is crumbling and we need to escape. Yeah, it's basically the same thing as Ocarina of Time. So, since we can't escape from outside because the door, or so we say the entrance is blocked, Ezlo said to us to go into the Emerald Sanctuary to seek comfort there. I don't know why that will help, but, well, let's go to Emerald Sanctuary. What the? <laughs> you will not escape, boy! Now you will see the true power of the Light Force. For I have become Vati, the master of this world! And here we go, Vati's final form, Vati's Wrath. We beat him, it's over. And this fight will not be easy. You can see I'm already low on health. I will shoot some electric balls at you. See his arms is going crazy. Here's a trick to beating him. Get the cane of Pachi and aim it at his arm. Now turn small. Run into the arm. And here, find the enemy that would have the red pupil, like this one. And slash it like wild. You wanna kill it. Go. Now the arm is going to rumble like crazy. So get out of it. The arm is destroyed. Good. And you get a heart as well. Cool, cool. Let's go get it. Now, it's the same thing. Repeat. We just did. Ouch. There we go. Up small. And enter the arm. Now, this time it's going to be dark inside. Let's so get out the lantern. Light it on. And find it. There we go. It is there. Slash it like you're crazy. And now it's going to rumble again. So let's turn on the lantern. Let's get out. Now, not really much to change here, really. I'm just gonna. Yeah, just. Just. Keep it. It's not a Rumble again. Time for the second phase of this fight. Now he's gonna get a wix. So he will be flying around. With his eyes going down, he will shoot electrical balls in all directions. Don't get hit. You see the energy balls from the small eyes? That is the key to victory here. Basically, duplicate and swing those back. Like that. And then, slash at him! Like wild! Now just rinse and repeat. Pretty simple, actually. So a tip, a tip I want to give to all of you guys here, make this fight easier, is to actually to enable three of the duplicate panels. Then you wait for his electrical zaps to come out, don't get hit, and then duplicate. Okay, so you can see, you must be directly underneath in order for this to work. If you're not, then it will not work. So if you fail, then you recharge again. Need to wait a bit because he will cast zaps at me. And then go to the last one. Okay, so this one as well wasn't really good enough. Don't spam your sword but sword too much. And be careful. If one of your clones get hit by the zap, you will be damaged as well. Let's try again. Name three. And I wait. Last one. And you see one of them missed. That's unfortunate. Nothing really much to do. You just have to strike it again. Be careful. Don't get hit by the zaps. This one won't be timed enough. So I have to make new ones. Let's enable three panels and wait. And I wait the fourth one. Force him to shoot. This will be bad. See? 
I got zapped now because one of my clones got hit. That's unfortunate. Now wait again. Touch this one. Go and zap. Of course I missed. But here's the fairy. We have four of these, now I just used one, so we have three more fairies to use. Again, wait. Get hit. Come on, Link! That Pay attention! Okay. Three, and go. Oh, what?! I slashed over some time! Man, Link, you suck today. Okay, this is bad. Making a time now? I did! Slash, 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 slash! Okay, it's not enough. Let's do it again. At least one more time, perhaps two. So again, wait for him to cast his zaps, then watch them and go after the door. Okay, this was bad. We actually decided to shoot him out, so now I have to wait again. Yeah. With three of them, dodge. Activate the last one. Okay, we, that was not correct this put out, so we have to dodge again. Don't get hit. Your clones will damage you. Oh, we hit! Slash, slash, slash! And that's it! Fool! I... My delight force! My power! I had such power! And the cap that it took from Ezlo is back in our hands. Link, thank goodness you're safe! You defeated Vati! You did well! But we lost so much! The castle! All those people! Look at Ezlo! Whoa! What happened? The curse! Defeating Lati broke the curse he cast upon me. My name is Ezio, master of Minus Law and Sorcery. The Mage Cap was my creation, but his limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for the humans. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen and much of the castle has been destroyed, but it is too soon to give in to despair. My curse has been broken. Zelda still possess some of the light force. Perhaps together we can do something. If one you just with heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be known. So now he's gonna use the light force from Zelda with the power of the cap to basically reverse everything that Vati has done ever since the beginning of the game. So this is now the where we were before, it's become the throne room again. The entrance to Dark Hyrule Castle has now become the entrance of Hyrule Castle. And a lot of people who've been put to stone is back normal again. Not only that, Dr. Rocks, gone. They were summoned by Vati. These ones are gone as well from Mount Crenel. The entranceway to the Emerald Sanctuary has been restored as well. Hey! Look! The castle! All the people have been turned to stone! They're all back to normal! Mm -hmm. The hut is breaking apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hut has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. But his heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems like Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hut's power, has created a miracle. What's happening now? Hmm. 
Looks like it's time for us to part has come. The mini's door opens but once in a hundred years, and it'll soon close. I must return to my homeland soon. I know I caused you much suffering, but the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Link, my journey with you was exciting to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad if you must part ways now. Please accept this. <laughs> you know, I never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. Hmm. It should you, little hero. Take care. Oh, that's so sad. Also turns, of course, into his normal form, his minish form. Farewell, my friend. And now he's gone. And there we go. Door is closed. And we get the credits. That's it. We have finished Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Not 100%, of course. I mean, there's still a lot of hard pieces to get get some more fusion of kinstones if I want to. A lot of figurines to collect, and it's speaking of figurines. Now I mentioned before that this game has some sort of a post-endgame thing. It's very little though. There are two main things that are happening after the game is finished. The first thing that's happening is that there are six figurines to collect that is only available after beating the Vati's forms. So you get like Vati's forms and some other things uh, coming. Also, if you've done the Goro side quests, then you can unlock the big Goron in Vale Falls by fusing kinstones with the rightmost Goron inside the Goron cave. Once you've done that, then you will be able to meet him at the top of Vale Falls. He will ask you for your shield to eat on for some reason. Make him do that and then just go around and do some random stuff like collecting heart pieces if you need to or spending time with figurines if you want to. And after spending some time with him, or time away from him, return to the big Goron, and he will basically spit out a new shield for you, which is basically the mirror shield. And the mirror shield has the power in this game to basically reflect items, which is no really big deal, like when you need it, it's just more for collecting thing. Also, if you collect every single um, figurine in the figurine shop, then the guy will give you a very cool badge, like a golden badge, that will replace the um, mysterious shells in the inventory. So if you really want to be a collector and get those, we had go ahead and do that. But of course, I won't really do that because it's just nothing that I really like or feel like doing at least. But this means that my time with Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap is over. So instead of going and doing those end game things, I'm just gonna stop with this. Now you might be wondering where am I going with this? Next game I'm gonna play will be Final Fantasy VI. You're wondering why Final Fantasy VI? I just already played the Final Fantasy game not long ago. Final Fantasy I, should I play Final Fantasy II at least? No. I never said I was gonna start with the first game in the series, I never said I will do the series in an order as well. So, Final Fantasy VI will be my next game, and it's one of my figures I really wanted to do personally. I could do a lot of games, like Fire Emblem, for example, or. So maybe some platform games as well, but I feel like I want to do Final Fantasy VI. That's will be the game I will start playing in about a week and a half or something. Thus did Link's quest come to an end. It did. But surely, this is not the end of Zelda and Link's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. As long as the power of the light force echoes throughout the ages. Pretty cool. And of course, you can save a game here, which of course I will do as well.
And then back to the entrance again. I can actually show you while we're talking. So yeah, uh, Final Fantasy VI will be the last game I will play. Or, not the last game, next game I'll play. So you're back in Hyrule Castle. Basically nothing has really changed, but you are in post end game mode. So I'm going to use a fairy, just to... ...my health restore so we don't get an annoying thing. So, um... As I was saying, I will be playing Final Fantasy VI next. I'll be starting that in about a week and a half. Or a week, a week and a half. If you want to know exactly what date I'm going to play, start playing Final Fantasy VI, come to my Twitter account, that's LP. And I'll be posting on Twitter when the exact date of my first episode of Final Fantasy VI will be uploaded onto YouTube. So I would suggest you go there. Um, one of the reasons I'm gonna play Final Fantasy VI is because it's a game that I've been playing for a lot of times, replayed a lot of times. Pretty cool game. Certainly a very underrated game. And again, looking forward to play. So you can see now I can fuse skin stone with this guy. Get a red one. This one. And one, that was really good. So that will be the next game to play. We will be playing through the whole storyline. Um, now my people are wondering, what version of the game will I play? Unfortunately, watch this playing here. What a nice nap! <laughs> Damn, the big arms, the hands. And there he is. One freaking gigantic Goron! Whoa! Yeah, fit perfectly. So that's good. Yeah, so basically, um, Final Fantasy VI is a very underrated game, and when it comes to versions, there are different versions. The, this game has been released at least five times, I think. First version is the SNS version, then you have the release on PlayStation, which I think is the worst one because of loading times. You have a version on, um, on Game Boy Advance, you have a version on smartphones, and, smart and a version on PC. I decided that I will be playing the um, P the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Now, even though the Game Boy Advance version has kind of the lowest, or should we say the poorest, in terms of graphic, and also the sound's not really the greatest, the great thing is that there are people out there who have made a patch for The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm a, bit, I'm a bit too focused on what I'm doing right now. Patch to Final Fantasy VI is what I'm talking about. This means it fixes the sound issues, it also fixes the uh, issues with um, with uh, the color being too bright. That's one reason I want to play the Game Boy Advance version, because yeah, the iOS versions and the PC versions haven't really been well received. And I kinda agree with that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm gonna try to go on you all. You made it big go and happy, which is unexpected visit to my distant home. Oh, oh what is that you have there? Did it by any chance a shield? Well, the Mora's Gorons, we know well the taste of steel. They are considered a fine delicacy. Little Goron, please, Squirrel. Let me just nibble in that corner, would you? I'll give it back to you just as soon as I had the tiniest taste. Won't you please just let me have a bite and lick a tiny crown? Okay. How okay, can no grass? Well, little one, if I eat it, you will no longer have a shield, do you mind? Uh, is this little? No, it's fine. Thank you, Goro! I'll do right in. Oh, oh, delicious. It has a deep, rich taste, surpassing even a great price I've heard. Oh, oh, just a few more bites, please. Yeah, so you can do some side quest meanwhile, you can go and uh, get some heart pieces or whatever you want to do. I would recommend at least doing that, but yeah, it's up to you kinda. So yeah, I'll be playing the Game Boy Advance version of Final Fantasy VI simply because it has the patch that I can use to enhance the game, so I think that's gonna be the best version to play. Again, I'll start the game in about a week, a week and a half. The uh, thing is that I'm doing a Pokemon Diamond Let's Play as well, and I'm almost at the end there as well, so I might actually be almost closing and ending in the both at the same time, 
Which means I will have some dead time. I don't want to have both games start at the same time, but that can happen. Let's just give a figurine to this guy. And we get one of the endgame figurines. Now you see as well the percentage has gone up again because there's more figurines available. Let's pull the lever. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Great Mayfly Fairy. The Great Mayfly Fairy of Mount Crenel. She provides you with a larger bomb bag, allowing you to carry more bombs with you. Okay, so we didn't get one of the endgame uh, figurines, but yeah, they are there. That's for sure. Let's see if that is enough actually to see if the Goron wants to give us back our shield. No, this episode will be a bit long, but then again, it's the final episode of this game, so it's just more about to show off some endgame content. It's actually had some time. Let's go to the trend with this one crest right away. Let's hurry before we're getting destroyed by that golden enemy. So, yeah. Um. Looking forward to play Final Fantasy VI. It's one of my personal favorite games of the series. The game has been receiving a lot of, uh, you say, underrated praise because the game has just been overshadowed by Final Fantasy VII since that was my name what, what people uh, played with. Let's see what this guy says now. No, 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 you're not going to play the flute. No, 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 no. Bad link. Okay, those, he's still the ones to do things. Okay. Well, basically, talk to his good. After you've done some stuff, talk to back to him and he'll give you the mirror shield. Mirror shield will reflect items back when you, um, when you basically are shot at you. You can reflect them back, which is pretty cool. But you don't really need it. I mean, I beat the game without it, without much problem. A lot of fairies still left, so you can do the same too as well. Anyways, that's gonna be marking the end, so. Thank you all for watching me play The Legend of Zelda. I will return to Zelda and Hyrule World, of course, in the future. A lot of games to play, like I can play The Link to the Past, uh, Link's Awakening, Green of Time, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Wind Waker. I mean, there's so many Zelda games I can play and do Let's Play of. There will be more Zelda Play Let's Plays coming in the future. This was the first one. More will come. Anyways, that's going to mark the end of my Let's Play of The uh, Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you've got feedback or talk about this game or in the Zelda series in general, leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get to know when I upload more Let's Play contents of my future games. That's gonna be it. My Legend of Zelda Let's Play is done. So I'll see you guys next time as I will start my Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. See you later. Thanks for watching.